Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Jank Uger. We've got an awesome show for you tonight. <laughs> Tonight's lead, are the Republicans just giving up pretenses and saying, yep, that's it, we're the party of the rich. The Democrats came out and said, you guys are for corporate chess, you're for oil subsidies, you're for the very rich. And basically they came out and said, yep, look at them defending all those programs right here. And the president singling out uh, you know, expensive airplanes is not the focus of the issue we're debating here. You see the most ugly, divisive press conference I think I've ever seen from a president. He offered no solutions other than let's tax, tax rich people. The idea that if we raise taxes, as the president said, on millionaires and billionaires, raise taxes on oil companies, raise taxes on owners of private jets, that that somehow is going to make a difference in America's debt in terms of having a real impact is not only misleading, I think, quite frankly, it's disappointing. It's, uh, it's class warfare. Uh, I love the way these guys cry about class warfare. And when President Obama goes after him, why are you hitting us? No, no, you're not supposed to do that. Listen, you guys have been doing class warfare for all these years. You've been redistributing the wealth from the middle class and the poor all the way up to the rich. That's what's been happening. So when somebody says, hey, can the rich just pay a little bit of their fair share? They go, oh my God, class warfare. In fact, look at the Democratic demands. They are so simple. Can we just tax corporate jets in the same way that we do other planes? Isn't that fair? How about oil subsidy? We can get $40 billion a year from taking away oil subsidies from the most profitable companies in the world. Why are they getting special privileges? Hedge fund managers are getting taxed at 15%. That's lower than almost all of you. Why are these guys not paying their real taxes, which should be 35%? And then deductions for the rich. Let me tell you about that one, okay? It's for people making above $500,000. Their deductions would go from 35 to 28%. That is minuscule. It's not asking for much, but even when you do that, the Republicans go, oh, how can you hit the rich like this? It's class warfare. But you know what? The American people agree with the Democrats. There have been 19 polls this year alone saying, you know what? The rich need to pay their fair share. Let's tax the, tax the rich. In fact, I'll give you the specifics. Uh, NBC Wall Street Journal poll, 81% saying tax people making over a million dollars. Okay, tax them more. And then you've got New York Times CBS is 72% for taxing people above $250,000. Washington Post, ABC, same thing, 72%. Four other polls in the same exact area. And that last number you see there, that's the Gallup poll saying that 59% of Americans saying rich are not paying their fair share and they're absolutely right the banks get bailed out all the biggest companies in the world get special subsidies they hide their money in offshore havens enough is enough and why why do the republicans go along with this well that's because they get paid by those guys even the corporate jet people i mean that's such a tiny tiny industry They've spent $22 million in lobbying since 2004. That money's getting funneled to the politicians. And then, how about the oil and gas lobby? You want to see a real lobby? $993 million since 2000 that they have spent on lobby. So that's why the Republicans sell out to them. I get it. What I don't get is why anybody votes for them. Look, you got a corporate jet? God bless your heart. Go ahead, vote Republican. That's logical. You're an oil executive? Oh, they do you the biggest favor in the world. Vote for them. I get it. But if you're an average American, why in the world would you continue to support this party? And how long can this party go on when they basically put their flag on the ground and say, yes, we represent the richest of rich, and that's it? All right, well, let's talk about that. Joining me now is MSNBC analyst Pat Buchanan and Bill Press, host of the Bill Press Show on Sirius Radio. All right. Pat, I mean, look at this. I mean, you defended the yacht makers the other day on the show. How do you run a party like this where you say we're for the corporate chess and the big fat cat oil executives? That's a winning strategy? No, here's going to be the winning strategy in this whole debt ceiling battle, Jenk. I mean, the president can hammer the Republicans, you know, you're in the pocket of the rich and Wall Street and all the rest of it. What's going to yes, happen sir. in July is this. You're going to get up to around July 20th. The Republicans in the House are going to say, we need a debt ceiling. That's responsible. We need to raise it. They're going to raise that. They're going to attach to it all of the Biden cuts from the Senate that have been agreed to. You're not going to have a single tax increase in there. They're going to send it over to the United States Senate, and Barack Obama is going to sign it. And what we saw yesterday on Barack Obama's part, all that frustration, you know, Malia and Sasha, they don't do all-nighters, all the rest of it, that suggests to me that Barack Obama knows he's over a barrel right now. Yeah, I don't see that at all. Look, if, if what you say is true, Pat, it is an absolute unmitigated disaster for the Democrats if they get absolutely nothing out of this. If the president agrees to that, 
That, that would be uh, that would be unbelievable. But, I don't, Jank, I, I, let me I can't even believe it. Let, let, let me Jank, let me follow up, Jank. Let me follow up with Jank quickly. No, 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 wait. Jank, Come Jank, on, Pat. No, Jank, no, no, Jank if you, Jank, if the president didn't sign it and he puts the country into default. No, 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 the Republicans put the country into default. You can't get away with that. If you say, I will compromise nothing, I will make no negotiations, and then it's the president's fault for going into default, you're crazy. All right, Bill, Bill, I want to give you one fact here, okay, as we talk about this. Do you know that if we go into default and our interest rates just go up 1%, it adds $1.3 trillion to our deficit. It makes our deficit so much worse. Now, if the, Republic, if the Republicans cared about the deficit, wouldn't they say, oh, under no circumstances are we going to default? Well, look, it just depends. They, they care about the deficit when the Democrats are in, not when the Republicans are in. Republican, the Republican majorities, as you know, and you've pointed out on this show, voted seven times without no strings attached when George W. Bush was in the White House to raise the debt ceiling. So, look, they're playing politics now. We know with them. But I, want, I just want to get some facts on the table, right? Everybody agrees we got this huge budget problem. Everybody agrees we're going to now, because Republicans have demanded it, we're going to cut $2 trillion as the price for getting a debt ceiling raised. Democrats have agreed to $1.6 billion in, um, in uh, program cuts, right? They're right. looking for $400 billion, right. not in tax, new taxes, $400 billion in getting rid of tax subsidies like the ones of the corporate jets that we no longer need and can no longer afford. And Republicans are standing up and defending those. Although, Jake, notice one thing. They don't defend those corporate jet tax sites. You haven't heard anybody defend them. Right, they just they attack. They just attack Obama but, but for suggesting me, that that's not fair. Why right. isn't um, it fair, Pat? Is what right, I want to know. Right, Why Pat, isn't Pat, it fair? I got a specific Jake, question Jake, for you, Pat. Let me respond. Pat, let me respond on. to Bill. Pat, I got a specific got a question point. for you. You can right. respond to all of us, okay? All right. Do you love Ronald Reagan? Oh, Ronald Reagan is a terrific fellow, and I was there when I went into his White yep. House, and he told me what a mistake he had made when he raised taxes in 1982. Forget 1982. Do you know Ronald Reagan raised taxes <laughs> 11 times? 11 and times. And not just there. that. Hold on, Pat. Not just that. Okay. When he did deficit reduction deals, which he did, he actually put $190 billion worth of revenue increases into those deals. Yes. So shouldn't you do just like Reagan and actually put revenue increases into your deficit reduction deals? Have to. No, here's what we no. should do. Just what Bill's talking about. I say no. Here's what Bill's talking about. He's correct. They got $1.6 trillion in cuts to which the Democrats agreed. Now, if the Republicans, Boehner says, we're passing the debt ceiling for one full year for the president, we're going to avoid a default, and we're attaching those 1.6 trillion dollars in cuts that Biden and the Democrats agreed to and we agreed to and they send it down to the president he's going to veto it and he, put the United States of America in default come on okay no, listen, so Pat, what I heard from Pat tonight hold on I want to clarify this Bill I want to clarify this Pat Buchanan just said he disagrees with Ronald Reagan oh, yeah, and would do the opposite would do the opposite of Ronald Reagan okay I just wanted to establish that now Bill look I know why the Republicans are going down this Road. Let's talk about the politics of it, right? So th their chief of staffs are literally straight from K Street. We did mm -hmm. a story yesterday. Marco Rubio and Ron Johnson hired guys from Navigators uh, Global. They're uh, literally K Street lobbyists. The guy, Mike Pompeo, congressman, his chief of staff is a Coke Industries lawyer, right? These guys are bought and paid for. I get it, right? But at this point, did they, shouldn't the Democrats be blowing these guys out of the water, sitting there defending oil subsidies, et cetera, Listen, in bed with the lobbyists? But, Cenk, here's the point. I think the reason you heard so much whining yesterday, I loved it, right? The Republican says, no, we're not like Sasha and Malia. And to prove they're not children, they went out and threw a temper tantrum yesterday. You know why? The reason is because Obama called them out. He exposed them for what they, who they really stand for and who they really are. That's why they're screaming bloody murder today. He showed the list that you right. showed. Is, I mean, the, to, to force them. He forced them to defend the corporate right. jets, the oil companies, the hedge funds managers right, look, and the right, millionaires say, and the billionaires in this country say, in right, addition Pat, to trying to say, kill let's, Medicaid. Let's Pat, agree, let's agree that the is President wrong. Obama, Go ahead. let's agree that President Obama just did a magnificent performance yesterday, okay? But that still does not get back to this fundamental point that the Republicans have the whip hand here. And when no, they, they take don't. those... No, 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 they don't. Hold it, hold it. 
they look, if they're the ones that pass the bill with the debt ceiling on there and raise that in the 1.6 trade, why aren't they going for higher taxes? They pledged in November they're not that they would not do it. Pat, they don't they're, believe they're in that. Going, and Bill Clinton says going, don't do it. They're not Bill going for higher taxes. Listen, you can, you know, they're Lincoln not. said, you can call a pig a goat. That doesn't make it a goat. They're not higher taxes. These are tax right, giveaways. Well, Pat, wait a minute. These right, are tax, get, tax giveaways, Bill, giveaways you're not going to get them. oil companies, yeah. to right. corporate jets, to the Call hedge fund managers you that not we can get no them. longer Pat. afford. All right, let me address them, something. You can let me address something, Pat. You like. All right, Pat, look, you say that the Republicans have the advantage. By the way, I don't sure. care what you call them. Okay, and, and they're obviously giveaways to the oil companies, corporate jets, et cetera. But let's put that aside for a second. You say the Republicans have the advantage. But what if they, we uh, don't raise the debt ceiling, but we don't go into default? Money comes into the Treasury all the time. We use it to pay our debt, so there's no default. And then the President goes, okay, now I have the biggest line item video, uh, veto in the history of mankind. I will only fund the programs that we're in favor of. You Republicans will get nothing from now on. Then who's got the advantage? Well, you're telling me that the President of the United States, look, if the President of the United States, he, you're right, the President of the United States would have to start chopping some spending and programs like that. What are the big ones there? Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, uh, unemployment insurance, Every single Republican program stamps. is gone. Okay, hey, and Jay. the two wars, and Jay, the two wars. Jay, it's up we to know, you, Mr. Jay, President. We know, Pat, Pat, wait, we know. The President's got the last word. The President has the advantage. And he will he sign showed it. it. He showed it yesterday. He is not going to accept a deal Bill. that doesn't include some revenue oh, enhancements. We got Everybody right there, says guys. you have to have a he balanced approach. He doesn't have approach. the cojones and you know oh, it. Oh, you watch, Pat. Oh. You watch. He'll shut down the government if necessary <laughs> oh. and the Republicans will get blamed for it just like and Newt Gingrich got down. blamed for it. All right. Well, okay. look, Pat, you'll be proven you wrong challenge once there. again. All right. All right. Let me summarize now. We're out of time. Let me summarize. Pat Buchanan yeah. challenging the president. Let's see what happens. Pat Buchanan also saying Ronald Reagan was so wrong. What an interesting segment we had.